Panorama TV presents Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -One, where we answer your questions. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Digital Photography One-on-One. -on -One. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, we had a great question this week from David A. Sear. David asked, can you please explain stops and how they relate to aperture values, shutter speeds, and ISO values? Well, David, that's a great question. Let's talk about what stops mean. Really, a stop is a relative measurement of light. It means twice as much light or half as much light, and it can be applied to all kinds of things. So specifically, when you're talking about an aperture value, a stop uh, open means that you're letting in twice as much light, and a stop less means that you're letting in half as much light. With shutter speeds, it's the same thing. You can slow down the shutter by a stop that lets in twice as much light, or speed your shutter up by uh, a stop, which means you are letting in half as much light. You can use it for lighting situations when you're putting a speed light on your camera. If you want twice as much light, you're adjusting it by a stop or half as much light. Same with studio lights. You get the idea. It's used to mix apples and oranges, basically, because sometimes it's, it's hard to figure out the difference between an aperture value, the actual number, and a shutter speed. But it's really simple to say, I just want this to be one stop less and one stop more. So to make this actually a practical, hands-on kind of a thing, I've hooked up this can or this Nikon um, onto uh, our live view onto the big screen right here, and we have a gray card set up. And I'm just shooting into this gray card to show you some exposure values. Now, on the right side of the screen, you'll see that there is a uh, guide. It says plus and minus. Now that's the um, the meter inside this Nikon, and it's giving us values. And on that uh, that meter, we're seeing some short lines, and those short lines are third stop increments, and the long lines are full stop increments. And so we can adjust everything either in full stops or third stops, which is really nice. So um, you don't see anything else on that uh, meter guide there because. I have this exposure set so it's correct. So right now we're shooting at a 30th of a second. Our aperture value is 4.5 and our ISO is 200. Now let's say that I don't want to shoot at a 30th of a second because that's too slow. I'll have uh, some camera shake in the picture. And so I want to take my shutter speed from 30th of a second to 60th of a second. Well, 60th of a second is, uh, is perfectly twice as much as 30, so you let in half as much light. Half as much light is a full stop. So I'm going to adjust my shutter speed by a full stop. And I'll do that, and you can see it climbing up there, 40, 50, 60. And look, on the scale, it shows that we are a full stop underexposed. Well, how do I fix that? Well, the nice thing is uh, the dials on all of our uh, new DSLRs, they have clicks. Those clicks are third stop increments. So I know if I click the dial three times, I'm going a full stop. So I'm going to open up the aperture three clicks, which is a full stop. So I'll do that now. One, two, three. Look at that. 3.2. My exposure is now set, and I just changed my shutter speed by a full stop without really having to know exactly where I needed to go with my aperture value. So let's put that back. Let's put the aperture back to 4.5. One, two, three. That's a full stop. And now I, I really want to keep my aperture value there for some reason. Let's just make up a reason because I like 4.5. Um, and I want my shutter speed to be where it is. So what can I do? Well, I can change my ISO. Well, what do, does it need to go to? Again, I know that I'm a full stop underexposed, so I can change the ISO value by a stop. So it's at ISO 200. The next stop is 400. That's the next full stop. So let me do that. I'll change the ISO. So there's three clicks. It goes to 400. Look at that. Perfectly exposed. And that's how stops are used in all kinds of different photography applications. So uh, if you're looking at something like a studio lighting setup, and you meter the light and you see that you want to be at a certain aperture value but you're underexposed by a stop, well then you know you can go to the uh, light and just double the power, which is a full stop. If you're using a speed light, same kind of thing. If you have too much light on a subject, you can adjust it in increments, um, which are called stops. And so you can either do a full stop or you can even do third stop increments. So let's do a third stop increment really fast. So right now we're at 4.5, so I'm going to open my aperture up to 4, which is a third stop. Notice on my scale, I'm a third stop overexposed. And so to fix that, I need to fix either the uh, shutter speed or the ISO. So let's fix the shutter speed. So I know I need to adjust it by a third stop. So what's the next 
stop, uh, third stop up from 60? I don't know. But I do know it's a one click over, so I'll do that. Boom, it's 80. Look at that. I'm perfectly exposed. And you can see how using stops, you can keep the scales balanced without having to know all the numbers and all the math. It's very, very simple. And that's what stops are. You'll see them in all kinds of stuff. We're going to be using the term in all kinds of videos coming up as well. So uh, now you know what a stop is. Well, thanks for that question, David. It's a really, really terrific question. And if you're like David and you have questions about photography or photography related gear, you can always send those to me at askmark at adorama.com or you can leave comments on our YouTube channel and let us know what you think there. And please subscribe to the videos so that we know that people love us and we can make more videos for you in the future. Well, thanks for joining us this week and I'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.